Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Long War 2. This is Operation Hammer Question. It's a very light mission with an even lighter squad. There's only four people in the squad. Uh, I don't know why I didn't give Amber her his promotion, but I didn't. We've got we've got a ranger, a specialist, a grenadier, a uh, corporal grenadier, and uh, and a shinobi. I, normally I'd be like, you know, like let's boost this because. You know, we need it to be lighter, and these the enemies guard it, so their their vision's gonna be higher too. If we can recover this item and get out, we have a huge bump in intel, right? But since there's only four people on this mission, and they're pretty high value people, I'd rather not lose anyone. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to boost this. 141 percent vulnerable, extremely light. That's the best possible chance for them to get out. Evac with a flare is now three turns. I think it was four before, so it's a little bit of an improvement, but uh, we'll get most of that intel back and then some. I guess we're gonna get all of it back, but it's it's a shame that we can't like actually build up our intel that way. So I think we're gonna have to just sort of maintain this presence where we just constantly try to find a lead. That's why we're doing this mission in the first place. Try to find a lead. Uh, try to liberate regions, kind of work our way into South America here, and we're just going to have to build up intel with these intel packages and decrypting the alien research and stuff. So, uh, Because I need to make contact. I need to get over to the black site. Let's go. So, Long War 2 has been updated, and uh, it's now version 1.3. I am not currently using the updated 1.3. This is still 1.2. I have to do some testing because I ran into some problems. So what I've done is I've kind of deactivated the Steam version of Long War 2. So that's no longer active in this playthrough. If you're one of those people that subscribe to the mod list, um, that's no longer active in this playthrough. Instead, the version 1.2 Long War 2 from the Nexus is the one I have installed instead. So I've, I've sort of, in a way, I, I've pulled my mod, I pulled the mod off the Steam Workshop, if you will, stopped using that one, started using the Nexus version, just so I can keep Long War 2 at the previous version. I'm gonna do some more testing, see if I can get to the bottom of the problems I'm having. It's a heavily modded campaign. Uh, and also it changes a lot of things about the soldiers as well. And it's, uh, it's a little bit, I just don't know if it's a good fit right now. I don't know if it's a good idea to switch to that new version in the middle of the campaign. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. And the really kind of sucky part about that idea is like of staying on 1.2 is that 1.3 actually fixes some problems and it also introduces a few things that would actually help you in the campaign instead of like being harsher on you and so in a way i think 1.2 might even be harder than 1.3 but uh, i mean i'm not in this for the for being as well let's move up here i'm not in this to have like the most difficult chance possible of doing this or anything i'm like i'm not looking for the hardest game but at the same time, the stability I have. Enemy patrol on the move. How did he see that? But Amber didn't. The stability that I do have is sort of, sort of nice. I really don't want to deal with mods, and I think I might just stay at 1.2 for the rest of the campaign because of it. I'm moving out. But there's an extensive amount of changes 1.3 brings. So. Already there. You know. It's something I'll look into. It's something I'll see if I can get to work right. But until then, uh, 1.2 is where we're staying. Moving out. I've got enemy movement here. Okay. We got a couple of big guys. There's a mech. There's a centurion. On Overwatch. Just stay here for a second. Four-man squad. And the drone is coming towards us. Brilliant. Another drone. More brilliance. Yep. Can we see the other group, or do they walk away? They walked away. Okay, good. So, I think we could probably just take these drones out. I'd rather keep Amber in concealment. I'd really rather do that, but I'm not sure that's an option. 
We might be able to take out this guy over here with the laser rifle. 63% is not that good at odds, but if he does hit, he's got a chance to kill in one shot. Uh, now, Irish has the suppressor, right? Yes. But he has no visual on the target, so I need to give him a target and then let him take a shot. If we can keep him in concealment, that'd be nice. Uh, looks like he can see the other drone from here, so we'll slide him over one. 84%. I think this is our best call. <laughs> you see that one? Good. Promotion earned. Last pod member killed. No detection. Okay, now the really tricky part here is that we're going to get detected by everybody. Uh, we're going to get detected here. There's no real good way around it unless that drone heads back the other direction, and I don't think it's going to. But under the possibility that it does, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do this. You got it. Just in case it does. No, it didn't. Well, it did. Blade Storm. <laughs> nice. Love it. And now there's no more drone. Okay. Cleaned it up nice and quick. Now we're not concealed. Like anyone, even Amber is not concealed. Oh, and reinforcements are coming in. Already? What? That's Discovery. Whoa! Reinforcements already sucks. Alright. Well, we got nine turns to get over there and get out. That sucks. We need to move fast. Let's get Amber up to here. Okay, I'll go. Yep, let's move up, guys. I need some people on Overwatch, though. I'm tired of waiting around. Gonna need some people on Overwatch. Whatever you say. Get Kyle there. Let's move Commander up to back here, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's a shame he can't get there, but here's full cover, so we'll take it. And I think we'll just go Overwatch here for the reinforcements. Reinforcements warning. No, it's still up. They didn't actually come in. That's weird. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Michael can move. I can conceal Michael. Let's let's conceal him again. Hidden away. That uses his whole turn. Oh. I thought that was free. Okay, guess not. Uh, okay, well, uh, how about just up to just up to full cover here is fine. Let's get commander up with you here. Hunting him down. And then Kyle, I want to get you forward, but I just don't want to get you like super far forward. There's a group over here we know about. There's two drones. And then there's three more here. That's five. So there's at least one more pod that we don't know about. I need to make my progress. I need to make progress that way. But I think maybe not quite yet. Prospects of getting Overwatch shots on reinforcements. Sounds nice. Still no reinforcements. I think it's just lying to me or something. It's kind of odd. We've got concealment now, so I can move up. Affirmative. Moving out. See what I can see. Nothing. Wow, okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with nothing. Here you go. Move up here. We got anything now? Well, we got some civilians, and we might just assume that civilians are faceless. I think it's safe. To, I think it's really a good idea if we just assume that every civilian on the map is a faceless. I think that's a good safety protocol to follow. Let's move Finally. Penna this way. Let's move Irish up to here. Got it. Moving. And then we'll move Commander. Uh, up here is fine. Go, go, go. Seven turns until the container is destroyed. Trigger fingers on the huh? Is 
it's zooming me in awful far. Did you notice that? Get really close to the camera angles are really getting close by. Okay, now reinforcements are yellow. This is interesting. So it was green, which told me incoming. Now it's yellow. That's bizarre. I think maybe some other mods updated too. Okay. Well, fair enough. Got a couple of shots here. I think Iris should totally shoot at the archer. So let's have him do it. Five damage. Good. Can you do it again? Should kill it. Got it. Alright, Penna, I want you to fire a grenade. Uh, I think at the car. Let's get you here. Let's move already. Uh, get a grenade over here on this car. Yep, I think right there is fine. Or, actually, you know what? You have rapid deployment, so how about we try this instead? Let's rapid deploy the flashbang for free. There. That'll work. Now they'll be disoriented and damaged. Can we kill the car? I'd really like to blow up the car. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Does that say negative? <laughs> it does. Negative 33 aim and one movement. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. All right. It didn't blow up the car though, unfortunately. Uh, Amber's still concealed, and I kind of want to keep it that way. I'm actually going to move you up here, I think. Commander, let's move you over to the car. Maybe like this. You have a 37% shot on you. Or I could give command to Kyle and have him shoot another shot. I don't know what kind of odds he has. If I could put Kyle in Overwatch, that might be better. We have Jammer. Uh, yeah, we can actually delay the reinforcements. That might be a good idea. That's going to end my turn. So how about we give aid? We don't really need to give aid. Intervention. What's the hack? Yeah, integrated comms. Let's get this. Soldier gets squad sight for eight turns. Gain control of random enemy for four turns. Wow. That would be sweet. If we get control of the Centurion, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? I almost feel like waiting for the reinforcements to drop before we do this, though. Because I'd really hate to get control of the Grenadier right now. So let's wait on that. Uh, we're going to move... Twenty percent, twenty percent bonus to skull mine. No, we don't really need to do any of that. All right, I think we're gonna run jammer here. Yeah, we're gonna run jammer here. So that should delay the reinforcements one turn. We can get Michael to be in a slightly better position, maybe away from these guys. Baseless. We we'll get him here, maybe. Two disoriented enemies. One's by, by the, back by the car. We're not going to get reinforcements this time. There's another mech to the left. 15%. This guy has no chance to do anything. Now the reinforcements are still imminent. Uh, we could move up. He's got negative 33 aim. I can't imagine he hits anything. So, like, if I wanted to move... Let's say... Baboon. His... His nickname is Baboon. <laughs> if I wanted to move Baboon over here, I totally could. Um, and just kill him. But then it's half cover for the Muton. This would count too. It's negative 33 aim. Yeah, he's not even going to be able to shoot anyway. I think we focus on somebody else, to be honest. 49%. Uh, Let's see if we can hit the Centurion with a 39%. Then I won't be able to... 
I won't be able to walk fire if I do that. So maybe it's better to walk fire the Centurion. 69%. It's only 3 to 5. He's got armor. We need to do something about the armor. Uh, you're concealed still. Let's get you up towards the door. Towards the objective. How about we get you to... Stay here for now. Heading out. What do you see through the window? Anything? No? Okay. So I can get you right, right up to the objective then if I want to. And I think I'm going to. Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, close encounters. Uh, what was that? Advanced officer has some ablative shielding on him. And the heavy gunner, and then there's a mech here too. But he's concealed. He should be okay where he is. We're going to drop an evac zone right now. And we're going to drop it kind of like maybe here. Yeah. I need an evac ASAP! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Okay, so... We've got these guys here who can't see us yet. If I move Gabriel back, we might be able to avoid having to fight them next turn. Which would be very nice. I know I just moved him here to shoot a flank shot, but I just don't know about that right now. How about we shoot the flank shot here? How about we shoot this? And then I'll run command. Um, yeah, I don't need intervention. But we could run... Maybe get some. For Kyle. And then we'll also run command on Baboon. So I can pull him back and give him a better chance to not be detected by those guys later. I don't know if it'll actually work, but I'm going to run him all the way back here in hopes that he's not in range anymore. So now we've got Kyle. He has increased chance to critically hit. So we have two shots. I might as well take a 39, see if we can hit it. Got him. Nice. I don't think I want to press my luck with another one. So I'm going to try Overwatch instead in case that group comes in. Centurion's got 74 aim still. Hopefully that other group doesn't... Okay, they're just... They're not even on yellow alert. This is great. Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought they might see Amber. Good. Okay, reinforcement still says imminent, but it's not here. Uh, we can hack this, but that's going to ruin his concealment. So I'm going to wait on that. Although, it's in a nice spot for a plasma grenade right here. Then I'd need to give him command to get him out of there. And command, he'd actually have to hack it with command. I think we're going to use Baboon's grenade on these guys. But we need to do something about the Centurion first. Um, I could run Kyle all the way over here. That might trigger that group. I don't think it will, but it might. I kind of like him in full cover, though, to be honest. Let's gain control of a random enemy. That might be interesting. Well, if we can. Obviously, we're not going to do it if we can't do it, but... Now that we can see the other group, we might be able to take control of it. Nope. Fair enough. We have failsafe, so... Not worried about it. Okay, that didn't work. So, how about... Am I able to give command to... No, only these two. 
See, I want to move Amber, but I don't want to reveal him because he's going to have... He can totally see, you know, like he can see everybody right now. He's got line of sight on all the enemies, so... If I move him here first, he still has line of sight, yeah. If I reveal him, then it's, it's, not, it's just not worth it. It's not a good idea. Maybe I move him here instead. That's affirmative. At least he's behind things now. He can still hack the objective. I'm gonna leave him there for now. Can my grenade, can this grenade get far enough? Not really. I would really like it to though. If I move here, will I be close enough to get revealed? I don't think so. I think this is fine here. Let's do this. Can I get it there, though? Uh, no. I can't. No, I can't. Okay, so now the next question is... They're probably going to get close enough for reveal next turn. But... Let's just move him back. Let's just see. I'm kind of playing musical chairs with this a little bit, but... I want the best possible outcome, you know? On over. Kyle has one shot and then he has to reload or I reload first, which I think is what we're going to do. Rock and roll. How about we just go Overwatch here with a full magazine? On Overwatch. Got him. Come on. Wow. One damage graze. Nice. A one damage graze. That's interesting. The heavy mech actually moved forward. Oh, Centurion's getting cocky. Missed the 61% Overwatch shot. Oh no. That sucks. Okay, well, we lost. We had protected, actually. That's because of that ability. That one that gives us armor and reduces explosive damage. But Baboon is exposed. We can get him here. We can get him here, and I think that's where I need to get him. The Centurion's really far away, but it's not likely going to come over here to flank him. Here I come. We'll get Baboon here. We're going to use... Yeah, we're going to use explosives here, I think, on both of these guys. Maybe a here is better. No, we want to shred the armor. Like this. Fire in the hole. All right, well, we did something. It's not a whole lot, but we did something. Uh, I can move prior over one. Go, go, go. Maybe get a hack on. Yeah, we can get a shutdown on this guy almost certainly. We might try control, but I think a shutdown right now is more appropriate. Yeah, especially with these odds. We're going to go for shutdown instead. Okay, now Amber... You can hack the objective, or... I can have you come over here and flesh. And I'm kind of thinking that's what I'd like you to do instead. If you hack this, it's not going to end your turn, but it, it ruins your concealment. So if you come over and flesh, you'll almost certainly kill the gunner. Irish has 90% on the mech, which you probably should take that first shot. Then maybe we could probably take this shot and then we can walk fire the Centurion. I like that idea. Let's try that. Deflection. Then we'll walk fire the Centurion. Or... Yeah, I think the Centurion. Or, are you in grenade range? Yes, you are. Actually, I kind of like this better. 
Yes, this better. Like, it's not doing any damage to him at all. That's a plasma grenade. It does one damage. Like, I don't understand that. A plasma grenade did one damage. I, d I just don't understand that. I don't see anything in here that... I see no reason for that. Like, none at all. One damage with a freaking plasma grenade. It's just stupid. Reinforcements are coming. We know they are. So, I'm gonna... Uh, you know what? We can get out next turn. If I just do the objective, we can all run out and get out next turn. Maybe we just do that. Alright, fine. Let's do that instead. We'll hack the chest. I really need the intel. They're not that different in odds, but I really need the intel. It doesn't matter. Doesn't make a difference at all. Uh huh. Got access. Thank you. A couple of scopes. Nice. Good with a couple of scopes for sure. All right. So we can get Amber up here, and then he can flush next turn or get out. You know, both of those are acceptable things. I'm gonna get you up there. In come the reinforcements. Nasty. Nasty. Shield bear, another heavy mech, advanced officer. Just totally nasty. Nobody likes you guys, Advent. Nobody likes Advent. Be brave. Oh, Centurion's coming for a flank. Shit. Good job, armor. Woo! This is not good. Oh, wow. Not going for Penna. Interesting. Interesting strategy there, Mr. Officer. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. It is time to go. Definitely it's time to go. We're not going to run any overwatches with Irish Rallies like that. I can run it with Commander. He's got pretty decent health. Armor. There's two heavy mechs, though. That's the problem. Two heavy mechs. There's only two overwatches. The problem with the overwatches, though, is that each of those heavy mechs... Wait, no, there's only one heavy... There's only one Overwatch. This guy's disabled. So, one Overwatch, you can do 5 to 10 damage. Technically not possible to kill Commander. So, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I could also have Amber run it. I might have Amber run it. Let's go, Amber. Come on. Mad dash. Let's do it. Oh, nice. He didn't... Oh, Amber doesn't... Wait a minute. Amber doesn't... Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. She doesn't... He doesn't actually trigger Overwatch. Okay, well, it's going to be Commander then. Go for it. Come on, come on. Nice. Totally missed. Alright, let's get out, guys. Uh, we can go here. Then you'll still have a shot, which is nice. You're not going to have a shot. Get out. We didn't really have that many injuries, honestly. I kind of expected more, but I'm happy that we don't have the injuries. But Is there anything we can kill? Probably not. I don't think so. I can't shoot at... What? I can't shoot at the heavy mech that's disabled. 
It's standing right there in front. What? I can't target this? 77%. Why can't I target this? Oh, it's just not... Oh, now it refreshed the highlight now. Yeah. Now well, let's just shoot at it. It's like... Not the best odds. Let's get out. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay, well. Couple of wounds. But with Commander on the mission, their wound times will be reduced. So Kyle might not even have any wait period. He's only down one health, so... Kyle might not even need any time to recover. Baboon will need it, though. I don't know. Why did the game give him Baboon? I don't understand. What a weird name to have as your... Like, in the list of nicknames that are possible to come up. I don't get it. But, all right. It's fine. Maybe he acts like a monkey in the off hours. You know? Maybe he's climbing around on things. I don't know. All right, cool. So, Irish does actually have to wait five days, but okay. He's got a promotion. We can give him tactical sense, rapid reaction, or rapid fire. I mean, this gives him three shots in a turn. This gives him three shots in a turn. I, th I think we take that. And then Amber still has a promotion. I'm not sure. This soldier has significantly reduced infiltration times while on missions. Like, that's... That's pretty, that's pretty helpful. But Tactical Sense is also really helpful. Implacable. If you score one or more kills on your turn, you are granted a single bonus move. God. I like this. Wouldn't this be it? I think this. Kenshi. Facility lead. Nice. Research chief can use them to discover exact location of a facility, but it'll take some time. I think we do that. Yeah, forces recently uncovered information that could lead us to the location of one of Advent's remote facilities. If we successfully decrypt the recovered data, it will provide specific coordinates allowing for tactical strike. Yes, please. We have one day until the data cache is done, so I think we wait one day. And then I'm going to switch my... I think I'm going to switch research from there to the facility lead. It takes 35 intel for that. Ouch. Could also work on magnetic weaponry, but I really want to get. I need intel badly. We only have 48 intel. Like I've, I've got the capacity to boost one more mission, and that's it. It's not good. Uh, Katronics has a promotion. Uh, Kubakiri, multi-targeting, and Hunter's instincts. So for Kubakiri, it's special shot against most enemies who have taken any damage. Any critical hit kills any any critical hit kills them but regular hits do half damage Ooh. so if you crit if you crit it's gonna kill but if you do a regular hit it's half the damage of normal that's it also requires two actions and has a four turn cooldown so it's actually it's an ability then okay so it's not like all the time that's good multi-targeting may hollow target multiple en enemies with a two turn cooldown okay and then Hunter's Instincts, range attacks against flanked enemies, deal plus two damage. This sounds awesome. Not gonna lie. This sounds awesome. Special shot against enemies with less than full hit points. So this is useful against enemies that have a lot of health. And maybe we're flanking them. Or we have the opportunity to, to like do some serious damage to them. Like a high probability to crit. We could do Koopa Kiri. And take away all their health. Any critical hit kills them. Regular hits do half damage. Against alien rulers, a critical hit will do double the normal crit damage instead of killing the enemy outright. Still pretty powerful. I kind of like this. 
Multi-targeting, though. Yeah. Hi high def hollow, independent tracking, and vital point targeting apply to all targets. Area of effect radius is four tiles for the basic hollow targeter and improves to five and six tiles with better technology. Has ability has a two turn cooldown. Hollow targeting does not break concealment for the squad. So I'd be able to hollow target everything. Like an entire group could be hollow targeted. That's I think that's stupid powerful, honestly. I think that's better. I'm gonna do that. That's like we're gonna ambush somebody with kit. We just hollow target everybody in a group. And then we break concealment. We open up with a big, you know, a big rocket or something. And then they're all at less than half health, whatever. And then this, that doesn't matter because we don't have this. But, like, we'd have all of them hollow targeted, you know? But here's the thing. I still think that's a good idea over, over, over this. But it would have been nicer if we had these two. I, I think... Conceal and center mass is, is better uh, for how I'm using kit, but yeah. So this this would have been nice to have. Vital port targeting would have been nice to have, but overall, I still think multi targeting. Even though we don't have these two, I still think multi targeting is better than this one. That one right there is pretty situational, to where multi targeting can be just used to hold time, and it doesn't break concealment, which is powerful. Look at all these upgrades. I think like I I didn't I didn't upgrade L Long War Two. But, like, there's a whole bunch of people with some promotions here that didn't have promotions before. Really odd. Volatile Mix, Bombardier, Ghost Grenade. Well, Mona is a, just a demolitionist gren grenadier. So I kind of like Volatile Mix. But being able to throw it further does sound pretty good. Grenades do regular and environmental damage in the expanded area of effect and apply additional effects there as well. Uh, God, I'm using Mona differently. Like, Protector is... Protector was a bad call for her. I might respec her. Take her down completely down Boomer. I think Protector was a bad call for her. I'm gonna do volatile mix with her. Wow, lots of updates. Jeez. Bring him on, close combat specialist and untouchable. I just don't understand why anyone doesn't do close combat specialist. Untouchable is pretty nice, but plus one damage on critical hits for every two enemies. You can see up to a maximum of plus eight. I mean, that's it's pretty powerful too. This is all really good, but I don't know. I could get myself in a really big situation where I have like I'm flanked by a target. Kill someone. I'm flanked by a target. But he's got hit and run anyway. You know? To where bring him on might be better for him with hit and run. Gain plus one damage on critical hits for every two enemies you can see. Up to a maximum of eight. Units visible at squad site ranges do confer the bonus. Applies to damage from primary weapon only. This might be the way to go. I like combat specialists, though. Because it's like free shots. Against chrysalids, he'd be... I just can't talk myself out of getting that. I just can't. Okay. Lots of updates. My God. Uh, Mayhem. Quick burn, I think. Activate so your next use of the flame floor will not cost an action. Man. Uh, tactical sense sounds good. What a salvo. Using the rocket launcher with your first action will not end your turn. That's pretty good, too, but... Um, Soldiers with Salvo ability are prime candidates for heavy armor. Yeah, they kind of are, but quick burn. Not using an action. I think we're going to do that. 
Oh my gosh. Like, my whole game is going to be giving people updates now. Wow. Bring them on formidable and ever vigilant. Uh, let's see. If you, if you use all your action moves, you're granted an automatic overwatch. Then there's formidable. Then there's bring them on, which I do like bring them on. But I'm also kind of digging the armor. Digging the armor. Formidable reduces explosive damage taken by 50%. Granting two ablative points. Okay, so this is giving two bonus ablative hit points. Not armor. So this has changed. So, like, I didn't update Long War 2, but apparently the Nexus version has some of the stuff. This is really strange. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Because this formidable ability used to give armor, and now it doesn't. And that's a change to the newest version of Long War. But I totally have Long War 1.2 installed. So I'm a little bit confused on what's going on there. If it's only ablative, I'm going to do bring him on. I don't understand what that's all about. Let's go to somebody that I know I have a certain number of abilities for. Yeah, this is now ablative points. It's not giving her armor anymore. That sucks. Well, okay then. I'm not sure what's going on. I, d I did not update Long War 2. I just have the Nexus version, which maybe the Nexus version is different than the Steam version in that way. I don't know. Chain shot, dense smoke, biggest booms. Your grenades and standard rockets can inflict critical damage. That's pretty powerful. Uh, chain shot's okay, but I'm, I'm going to use you for what I got you for, and that's for your booms. Your biggest booms. Bjorn... We're going to do Conceal with you, I think. Hard target. That's not bad. Coup de Gras can instantly kill a disoriented stunner unconscious enemy. Oh, coup de Gras. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'm pretty sure it was coup. Like, not, like the P is silent. But anyway, uh, you can only target non-robotic disoriented stunner unconscious enemies. Grants a base 25% chance to kill disoriented units and a base 50% chance to kill stunned or unconscious units. Grants up to 75% additional chance to kill based on remaining target health. It's pretty powerful, but conceal is also pretty powerful. And his ability to stay hidden is like super critical to the playstyle that he's been, like we've been doing with him. I'm gonna do conceal. Ah, Pixel, what do we got for you? Savior, Sentinel, and Trojan. Enemy units that are hacked take damage and lose their actions on the turn that the hack ends. Uh, Sentinel, when in Overwatch, you may take two reaction shots. And Savior, healing abilities restore four additional hit points. This would be good if we had medical protocol. See, I can tell that I don't have the, ne the next version of Long War 2 and the perks because combat protocol and medical protocol are now on different they're on different ranks now you can actually get both of them now um if i remember correctly and so like that's how i can tell that i'm not on the next version but for some reason some of the perks have still changed it's really odd trojan i think we're gonna try trojan and then expert you have javelin rockets, fire and steel. Attacks with your gauntlet and fires set by gauntlet weapons do plus one damage. Incinerator, flamethrower has an increased range and covers wider area of effect, or the javelin rockets. Range is increased by six tiles, and you may hit targets beyond your visual range. Well, expert does have a rocket launcher. He's the rockets expert. Corey Voss. Save your Sentinel Trojan. Well, you're going down this path. Yeah, you're a support. So having an additional four hit points on heal for you is kind of a no-brainer. Is that all? That's all of them. Yep. Fatima is in, is still in training for another two days. She's getting Shism? I'm confused. That was Shism training. I don't remember that being what you were getting. Some stuff has changed, folks. <laughs> Some stuff has changed. 
Uh, how about this? Is this changed? Do we have any recruits? No. How long until we get recruit recruits? I think it's six days. I think it happens when the supply drop happens. So let's let's go forward in time a bit until we get. Also, the Sci Lab is supposed to be able to have two scientists in there now. So in the next version of Long War Two, you can actually get two scientists to help speed up the training time. Uh, but like I said, I'm not on the new version. It's another way I can tell I'm not on the new version. So what do we have here? Do we want to train you? 66, 16. You have 18 is your psi ability, which isn't bad, but I don't know if it's the right fit. But let's go one day. Or not. Okay. Destroy the relay. Prevent a resistance data leak. That's probably important. We get 30 intel as a reward. We only have four days to infiltrate. And it's moderate. I don't think we can do that. Resistance data leak, though, that would mean we can't do any type of missions in here, wouldn't it? Isn't that what that means? We wouldn't be able to do any reconnaissance in here anymore for missions. I really want to infiltrate this base. Strength is 8. I really want to infiltrate the base. I just don't have the squad for it. I need to make contact with this region. Not think I could have predicted. Okay, so that gave us 32 intel. Oh, it is intriguing. I like the intel. Intel is good, uh, but the facility lead might be a better call here. This only takes two days. This takes five. This takes five. But we do the two-day one, and then we'll come down here and do this one. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I just I'll need the intel. You when I have a full report available. Okay, Steve Lee can now do grenade launching. Good. Another grenadier is always fun. North America, we get rookie Amanda Jordan, rookie Nicole Parker, Tiffany Harris, resistance personnel, Arthur Reed, resistance personnel, extremely light, four days, six hours. Yeah, we can do this. Setting course for the Eastern US precinct. We can do this. It's like a jailbreak, right? Okay, I'll set up the squad and uh, then we'll just come back. We'll do it that way. Okay, this is the squad. It's pretty light, but uh, it does get us underneath the expiration date for the mission, so we won't have to worry about boosting it. It'll be extremely light. We have a specialist here, so we can hack it remotely and get out. We have 14 turns to get the job done, so per I think that's probably an adequate amount of time. I'm worried about people having like these little tiny ablative armors and stuff, and I'm kind of like wanting to switch them with something better, but... I just, I just don't have anything better. Like, I don't have anything better to give them. Like, they're all ballistic weapons. I don't have any lasers available for them. So, uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's send them. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. Alien infiltrator, dark event completed. The aliens hide in ambush among the populace, placing hidden faceless aliens on each mission for a month. Yeah, well, we were going to have that anyway. Oh, also, alien survivability. Alien forces field stronger combat units with a bonus hit point. Brilliant. Two dark events to complete back to back. At least they're not tactical upgrades, right? At least they're not tactical upgrades. Just taking a look at the map here really quick. We still don't know where the facility is over here, which is just kind of ridiculous, but... Uh, Indonesia... We have a haven over here. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. That's not what I wanted to do, but I did it, so okay. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to look in here. Everyone's on recruit, okay. I just wanted to look in there and see, but I guess we're gonna go back over here. Setting course for Western United States. We'll just scan, see what we get. Shredder rounds are done. Shreds two enemy armor with every hit. One shredder round has been added to the inventory. Brilliant. Thank you. I love that. All right. Uh, ACL. Interesting. What is ACL? Accolade? Acolyte? What does that mean, ACL? Nope. This. ACL, yeah, Acolyte. Acolyte Fatima Castillo. 
now knows schism, in insanity, now does a small amount of guaranteed damage and applies rupture to the target. Well, I don't know insanity. I don't think I do anyway. It's possible that I do. Pretty sure I don't. No. Can I get her into disciple now? Or does it does she still have to go on another mission before she's able to do that? Yeah, it looks like she does. Well, we'll put her on the next we'll put her on the next flight then. Which might be this one. Eleven days. Smash and grab. Seize advent resource cache. This is new. Smash and grab. I get enemy material for this as well. Light activity, 11 days. Send them. Setting course for South Africa. I don't recognize this mission type. I think we have a new mission type. Smash and grab. All right, we'll set this one up now. All right, so here's our squad for this one. This is Tango. Six days, six hours for infiltration, but they are a great little squad here. And light enemy activity, we're totally going to do this at 100%. I don't want it to get any lighter. Enemy material is what we get as a reward, and that's why. This is a smash and grab mission, so I have no idea what to expect. But that's that's what we're supposed to do. We're going to be bringing with us Crazy Man. Now, he has a ballistic cannon. I don't have a spare uh, laser cannon for him, so he's going to have the ballistic. Now, he actually doesn't have Shredder as an ability, so I've given him the new Shredder rounds. That's going to be great. We've got Prophet, and Prophet looks to me like he has a ballistic rifle. No. Ah, I almost messed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> no. No, you're not going out with a ballistic rifle, buddy. Sorry. Laser sight for you. Plus a uh, scope? No? No scope? Really? Uh, okay then. An expanded mag might be nice. Why don't I have a scope for you? Didn't I just get two scopes? Thought I just had two of them. Might as well give you an autoloader then. Whew, almost messed that one up. Okay, <laughs> mag rifle for him. He's also going out with tracer rounds as well. Then we've got uh, commander. Same stuff as he's always got. Uh, we've got our new acolyte, Castillo, here. He's going out with just some grenades and stuff. Her primary weapon is her psionic abilities. And then we've got Bjorn right next to her. Not a whole lot I could give him, but I decided to throw in a, a frost bomb because I don't have any more battle scanners available. And then we've got Decimator over here. And she's got, like, more than enough to handle it. She has the Shredder ability. She also has the laser the laser cannon. She has the Shredder ability already, but I've given her a, the AP uh, rounds to make her even more deadly. So, uh, and the reason why I, I was I was going to switch this up and give the laser cannon to, to Crazy Man, but Crazy Man actually has higher aim, and the laser cannon improves aim. So this will actually help her aim and make them both more effective. They both have Shredder. We don't have any Grenadiers on the map, but these two are gonna be able to shred the armor. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, only Ballistics here. I've also switched Bjorn so that he now has the Ninjato. He's got the same sword as Jasmine has. So, uh, make sure we have that Blade Flourish, Advanced Fiber Blade, good. So he'll have the Silent Takedown ability now too. Should be fun, let's go. And Doc has damn good ground. Cool. And Michael Petromalo now has Ghost Walker. Uh, brilliant. That means he's got a lot of, like, he's got Shadow Strike plus Ghost Walker. Very cool. Plus the clutch shot uh, for his rifle. Notice, though, he also has a ballistic rifle. I'm not sure. I think it's because I said make all weapons available, and then I kind of outfitted certain people with certain things, but... It's pretty strange. Uh, let's give Petromala tactical sense. I think rapid fire. Yeah, I think rapid fire. Okay, that mission ought to be fun. Back to uh, making contact. Sector nine, Western United States. This mission's dragging out a little bit, isn't it? This episode. Another supply raid. Uh, seven days. 
We need the supplies. Setting course for the Western European Ward. Seven days to infiltrate is not a whole lot of time, though. Not for the squad we're going to need. Like, I don't have a whole lot of people available. Thankfully, I just got pet, so we'll have that. We have Doc available, too, so I guess that's good. We'll bring Amber along as well. Uh, probably, yeah, bingo. Bring as many people as we can. All right, here's the squad for Operation Raspberry Behemoth. Uh, we have six soldiers here. Two of them are sharpshooters. One is a snapshot, the other is not. Uh, and I've gone ahead and I've stripped the weapons and armor and everything from everyone who's not in battle or currently infiltrating, So, because I wanted the best possible gear. And so we have been able to outfit everybody, except for, uh, except for Amber. Everybody's been outfitted with at least tier two weapons. M Michael actually has a mag rifle now, so that's good. We've got Ion over here. She's a snapshot sniper. She's gonna have some chitlin plating, plasma grenade, and a smoke grenade. I'm gonna see if there's a reason to use the smoke grenade. I'll probably have it. Then we've got Pet, who's got a regular flashbang, plasma grenade, as well as the shadow keeper pistol. Hopefully we can get him his concealment back again. Then we've got Doc, who's got the nano meds, and chitlin plating, as well as um, uh, flashbang. Amber is running with pretty much the same arrangement, ex except, you know, the plasma grenade. You guys can see it. Now, Bingo, he's not a snapshot sniper, so I've given him a mag pistol as well. AP rounds and a flashbang. Might switch this for smoke, actually, because he's going to be further away from people. That's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, let's switch. Let's give him the smoke grenade instead, and then we can swap for yours. We can give you... How about just a flashbang instead for you? Because you're going to be in the back, most likely, so the smoke grenade makes more sense for you. Then we've got Sparrow, who has got the same arrangement, pretty much. Just flashbang, chitlin plating, and this. And everybody, aside from Bingo, has body armor. Has, like, legit body armor now. So, that's pretty good. Actually, maybe Specialist doesn't. What do you have? Yeah, you get the Predator armor. You're fine. So, I think we're good here. This is what we're going to be doing. Make sure Doc has Gremlin Mark II. Does he? Yes. Okay. So I think we're good. This is going to be our infiltration here on this. Requires 100%. We'll have that in six days, one hours. And send him. In position for deployment. Okay, my goodness. Can we go back here and infiltrate this now? Setting course for the Western U.S. Precinct. Go back and get the, uh, make contact with this region, finally. These findings will likely cool. prove crucial 29 more intel. Efforts, 29 more intel is really helpful. Let's grab the facility lead now, because I want to know where that place is. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Like, I would go for advanced mag weapons, but the thing is, I don't have enough supplies to do anything with them anyway, you know? So, I have a new target, North America. Find a lead, 34 intel is really nice, but there's only two days to infiltrate, and I really don't even have... I don't have a compatible coward. <laughs> Operation compatible coward. I actually don't have a compatible coward for this mission. Uh, I have incompatible cowards, so, yeah. Not enough time to infiltrate. Can't, we can't scan because missions keep getting to 100%, which is okay. This is an ambush. Moderate activity. We still have a day left to infiltrate this. And the squad is pretty capable. This is where Katronix is. And Tyke and Putin. Yeah, I was able to give them their promotions while they were infiltrating. That's really strange. So I, I think something was a little bit weird with Longmore there. But this is a really capable squad. Uh, if we can get this infiltrated down to maybe light to moderate, then we'll be in good shape on that, I think. We'll be good with that. And that should give us some more supplies. How about you, Quebec? Mammoth Dragon. This counters a hidden event. We have 11 days to infiltrate this. We're already 100%. We have 11 more days we can go on this. So I think we drag this down to extremely light. Yes, we, we drag this down to extremely light. And then what do we have for... This is the advent... This is the network tower. Network tower is moderate right now. We'll get the HQ region here. 36 more intel is 87% now. We have 17 more hours on that. So that might be the next mission. We'll see. Uh, lots of stuff going on, man. This map is crazy. Nope. Still can't make contact. 
Uh, light to moderate enemy material. Another smash and grab. Nine days to infiltrate. So I think we're gonna we're gonna put a pin in this one. We'll go and infiltrate this when we get one of the other missions done. New regional contacts cool. located. So we can actually go after the new Arctic now, which will be really nice for the purposes of getting like these guys are already a strength four here. The black site is here. We'll need to have 240 intel. I need a tower. I need a radio tower. Like, really badly. Can I build it? 200 supplies. No. Ugh. So heartbreaking. <laughs> like, I, 200 intel is ridiculously expensive. The intel cost to make contact with a region is dependent on the distance from the nearest radio tower. So, uh, like, if I put a radio tower in this region, then it would be probably 160 to make contact. Because I could do it through this radio tower. One region, that would be 80, and then another region, that would be 160. To where here, the nearest radio tower is, I think, our home base. I don't have a radio tower here, so it's one two, three, four regions away, as opposed to being like two regions away. I think that's why. Okay, well we don't need to be over there anymore. We don't have enough intel to make contact with any other regions. Maybe. 80? Yeah, this takes 160. 80 intel times the link distance to the nearest relay. Yeah. So, no, we need more intel to do that. So, how about we go... I don't know. Where do I want to scan? This is also 160. Guess we'll just scan here. Doesn't matter. We have another mission here now, too. Hack the workstation. Light to moderate. Another nine days. Light to moderate. So we might be able to get this one, too. More intel is what I really need. So, But I just don't have the soldiers to, Commander, to do these. I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working yeah. on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Power relay is done in one day. That would be good. We'll have more power. Then we can start on... Well, I don't have the supplies to start on the shadow chamber anyway. Jesus, this is... It's draining me dry, man. There's so many so many things just completely draining me here. Regions liberated here. We have a few on intel just to keep an eye on the area. They could try to get this region back because this is eight. This is eight strength in a in a adjacent region. They might try to organize their forces over here to come after us here. Maybe this one. Maybe we'll go after this. Avenger plotting new course. That's something we can do with the time, right? Scan this. Another. My God. Rescue VIP from Advent Cell. We get Sergeant Brandon Kazenik. He's a technical. We only have five hours to infiltrate, so like we can't even fly over there in time to, to get that. So, sorry, Brandon, can't do it, buddy. Yankees, one hundred percent, light to moderate. Uh, I still, I think we, I think I want this a little bit lower. What's the squad for the radio tower? Knife party, danger, Rocolo, Pryor, and Perez. I think we can go a little bit more. Maybe, maybe we'll go to one thirty or one twenty five. See if we can knock this down to light, then we can go with that squad. Okay. Well, it's do or it's do or die. Um, we're not able to get to 130%, but that's okay. Moderate activity. Ambush and advent troop column. We're gonna get some supplies here, hopefully. And the squad is more than capable of it. So that's gonna be the next mission, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate all the support there. I know uploads are taking a long time. It's my work schedule. I, I don't know what else to tell you. That's just the way it is. I'm doing the best I can. I appreciate your support. Appreciate your patience. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.